I'm D.B. Sinclair here with Scott James, and we're about to jump in a match of Hunt looking through the window of Observer Mode. This is really cool. I, I'm super excited to see uh, what kind of features we've got, how this is going to enhance uh, viewing the game. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of the game, we are jumping right in to the Goliath. And as you can see, uh, there's multiple camera angles that you can use while you're looking at the Goliath. I, I love the look back behind. You can spin that camera around to look back behind the Goliath, see the dropship coming in, uh, as the hunters are as well. The rest of the HUD being popped back in there right now so you can see uh, the camera selection uh, menu for the hunters and the monster and even Daisy. We got a Daisy cam. I, I, I'm really excited for that Daisy cam. <laughs> Can't wait to see what uh, what she's doing. Looks like we've got Kyra popping the adrenaline burst, uh, the adrenaline field. We're going to have them uh, see if they can catch up to the monster here. As Cabot gets the dust tagging on the monster, the monster is going to be visible to the team. The rest of the team comes in and they get a dome on the monster immediately. And you can see the hunters uh, bouncing around from one part of the high ground to another. Uh, as you see the traps being laid down by the trapper below. Uh, the hunter team doing a great job of containing the monster in the middle right now. Yeah, you can see his odds going down. Uh, as he's taking damage, as he's losing that armor, uh, things are swaying more towards the hunters right there. Cabot up there. Get the glory for himself with that right. rail cannon. You know, he uh, he recognizes that Parnell is the guy who's going to take down the monster. Right. So he's going to put in the assist for him. Right. True support, uh, playing a support role there uh, and helping the entire team uh, do more damage, as we saw there. And the harpoons, though, just a nice job by Maggie to get the harpoons, anticipating where the monster is going to go and laying the harpoons down there so that they're waiting for the monster. As you can see here, you can go completely HUD off or the entire HUD on. Uh, with the HUD on and in the character selection menu area, we're looking at health, perks, perk timer, uh, monster armor, monster energy towards evolution, and monster health as well. You even see what stage the monster is. Right now we have a stage one Goliath that is finally getting away. Uh, on our screen here, Scott, we can see that the monster is highlighted red. That's also a feature that you can turn on or off. You'll be able to see the opponents of the uh, hunter or monster that you're chasing uh, in the camera across the map and see what they're up to and where they're going. Exactly, and uh, you know, Goliath got a uh, great bit of distance between him and the hunters right there. Uh, that's going to be huge for him. Looked like he was eating there. Uh, maybe you know, there are a lot of perks back there. I know there's the uh, the tyrant perk, the uh, the health regeneration. Might have picked that up. Uh, you know, uh, we're going to see when it comes back. But you can see him. He's, I mean, he's tiny back there. Yeah, he's super far away. The rest of the team, as we jump from camera view to camera view, from hunter to hunter, uh, we're able to see the action uh, and see exactly the path that the hunters are taking, the split that they're doing. You see a bunch of trap jaws here, potentially giving the hunters trouble, but they do a nice job of jetpacking around. I loved before that Daisy Cam and the Marsh Strider running uh, parallel to each other. Amazing stuff can happen in this observer mode. As you can see here, here's the mobile arena as we jump to the Trapper. Trapper getting knocked around by the Goliath and the rest of the team uh, trying to do damage as Goliath goes in with the Fire Breath. Exactly. Goliath stage two here. Uh, he uh, uh, made his Fire Breath a little more powerful. Uh, it's going to give him an advantage. Uh, absolutely. I mean, these guys are super mobile right now. Um, they've got a lot of this. They got a lot of range on their weapons. Uh, Goliath is going to need to increase the range on that fire on that flame breath if he wants to uh, do anything here. Absolutely. You see, the trapper went down, so the trapper now has a strike that's reflected on the health bar of the trapper. Uh, before that, though, before they got the trapper back up and the trapper was incapacitated, we saw that familiar skull uh, slowly bleeding out there, uh, letting everybody know that the trapper needs to be picked back up. Uh, and also, notice Daisy's icon as well changes as it does in the game. Uh, right now, Daisy has full view of the monster, pointing at the monster now is why it's uh, red and flashing with the monster paw and exclamation point. There it is again, Trapper goes down once again uh, and needs to be revived, is being revived as we saw there, and comes back up with two strikes. Yep. Now, uh, the, the one thing we do notice, so we, we've got the uh, those little icons that indicate that the hunters have picked up uh, elite perks. So uh, most of the team, apart from the trapper, has got the damage perk. Yep. Um, now, Goliath's got to be careful here because, you, as you can see, his uh, mammoth bird cooldown perk yep. is uh, very rapidly running out, yep. uh, as are his odds of survival. They just popped up there. Uh, 35 to 65. Now that's that's because the uh, the monster has such low health. Yep. Um, you know, as he gets more armor, his his odds are going to increase. 
Um, and you know, uh, maybe if he can take down one of these hunters, put somebody in the dropship, uh, he's gonna get an advantage. But things not looking great for this Goliath. He's lost quite a bit of his health. He's at stage two, so he can get it back, but it's getting closer to the end of the game. Uh, you know, it's gonna get harder and harder for him to come back with, uh, with such low health. Yeah, as you can see there, you can also pop up the map. You can see the pursuit of the hunters as they are closing in on the monster. Uh, also on the monster camera selection menu section, uh, you can see as he was feeding there, his armor building up, his evolve energy building up as well. Uh, right now sitting at about half health, but with a lot of armor to work with, this could be a good fight. As you see, he goes in and gets the trapper down again. Trapper is down and out. Trapper will be waiting for the dropship, which we see the timer for in the top left-hand corner. Exactly. I think that's going to help him a lot. Uh, he's been having a lot of trouble with those harpoon traps. Maggie has been on point with uh, with laying those harpoon traps down in just the right places to uh, to catch a Goliath midair. I mean, yep. I, I can't count how many uh, leaps and leap smashes uh, she stopped with those harpoon traps. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of midair, uh, with Goliath here, and the, the camera pulled back as it is, uh, you're able to almost get a bird's eye view of the action on the battlefield when you're in observer mode. Uh, and you can see the, the true spread of the hunters as they try and get away. Uh, we've got Daisy Cam here, which will show you uh, exactly where the monster is as Daisy points to it. Uh, while the rest of the team tries to stay alive, Trapper down and out, Assault uh, very low on health, uh, the support on a strike, and the medic doing everything she can to keep the team alive. As you see, she goes flying back into the wall. Assault is down. Daisy getting attacked as well. We see this is not looking good for the hunters. And look at those odds sway, Scott. You talked about the odds, the survival odds before. They are now in favor as the monster as we have two incapacitations and one hunter completely down and out. Yep, exactly. I mean, they were at, uh, you know, 35, uh, 65 monster, and they basically did a, a complete turnaround. Yep. And that just shows how the, the ebb and flow of the game, how the, the game can sway uh, in favor of one side or the other, and how it, it all is about forward progress and momentum. Uh, the monster uh, came out of that first fight, that first dome, with no momentum uh, and with a lot of lost progress uh, towards its health and uh, in this case turned it around in this second mobile arena and really took the fight to the hunters swaying in favor uh, stage two and some more powerful abilities definitely helped with that but uh, not quite enough to clinch it uh, we come out with a monster win and that's observer mode coming soon to the evolved community from turtle rock studios in 2k